Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Got the big one from Monday coming up. In a way, and Lewis Neary. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie. All forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single for every single fight. Show you how to break down. Uh, show you how to make money uh, consistently. Bring down the house betting on the sport of boxing. Please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. The link is in the description. Uh, just five dollars a month gets you all the perks. You get your lock of the week, which will make you a ton of money. Uh, it'll get you a ton of other perks as well. Lock, of, like I said, the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book anything, ask me a handicap a fight. There's free T-shirt involved. There's all types of cool perks. So join the uh, Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into the big fight. Monday morning, if you're in the United States, or Monday afternoon, if you're in the UK, or I guess Monday night, if you're in the Far East. Louis Neary, now in a way, which is a fight that was really, really intriguing, you know, five years back or something. A fight everyone wanted to see at, at smaller weight classes. If Neary could come down, in a way, could go up and meet him. Louis Neary was, at that time, he looked. 35 and 1, his only loss is to uh, Brandon Figueroa. So it's not like he's a bum or he's no good, but he had some struggles in, in fights with guys like Aaron Almedia, Carlos Castro, different things like that. He's a very good fighter, and we're going to get into him in, in just a minute. But if you go back to 2018, 2019, when he was taken apart, McJoe Royal at 118, different things like that. And Inouye was fighting at 112, 115. It's a fight that everyone wanted to see. We're getting it now. I don't think it carries the same luster or kind of vibe to it, but it's still a good fight. way is what he is. way is, for my money, the best fighter in the world. I, we can debate Crawford or whatever you guys want to do, but for my money, it's way. Amazing feat. Calm, patient, Volume. He throws in decent volume, but he's calm and patient. He throws everything hard. Offensively, he's one of the best fighters I've ever seen. He's so complete. He's so patient. He's so powerful. He maintains and keeps distance so well. He closes when he wants to. He creates distance when he wants to. He gets on the inside and, and lands his, his short power shots to the body and to the head when he wants. And he wants to fully extend the shots. He throws straight, hard, powerful shots that he keeps you at the end of. He's a master of distances. He's a master of manipulating and maintaining distance. Patient, patient, patient. He throws hard, vicious shots, but he doesn't overthrow. He doesn't waste a lot of energy, but he's not a low-output guy either. He's got every punch in his bag. He's got really good uppercuts on the inside. Obviously, he goes to the body well. Straight shots, the right hand. Obviously, it's money. Clean, good shots. Excellent feet, footwork. His defense, he's in front of you and he can be hit, but you have to be willing to stand in front of him. And if you do that, you're going to get knocked out, right? That's what makes him so difficult. Is the one guy that gave him trouble in the first fight was Donaire because Donaire could punch with him. But Donaire had the power to stay in front of him. Donaire knew he was going to get hit, but Donaire was athletic enough so he could make him miss a little bit, make him work. In a way, he's got great feet. He'll stand in front of you and just turn out, pivot out, right? Where it's not incredible amazing high-level athleticism, it's just good fundamental footwork that he executes super, super well. So he's just not there to be hit. He can just slide offline, make you miss, and he's out of the way. He's working his angles, and he's not there to be hit. But he, he will stand in front of you. If you can time him, if you can put punches together, you can score on him. But you're going to have to be willing to take back, to take what you get in return, which really no one can stand up to. This was the problem Stephen Fulton had. This is the problem that everyone seemingly runs into. He sets things up off his jab. Pinpoint accurate on, on his long-range power shots. Defensively, tight, responsible. But again, he's not impossible to hit. But he, he executes his defense well. For what his defense is, he's an offensive fighter. For what he does, he executes his, his defense really well. Like I said, good feet. Let his power comes from his legs. He throws beautiful shots, his, his technique, his form, he turns them over, he drives his shots from his legs, they're not long, he doesn't telegraph his shots. Offensively, this guy is 
He's, he's a beautiful fighter. Lewis Neary. Lewis Neary is an interesting one because he can play Bull or Matador. I, if, if you go back and you watch, especially when he's fighting punchers, he, he likes to play a little bit more than Matador, but he, he can play the Bull too. Good pop, scores with straight shots, fairly athletic, good fluid motion. Right, He's not mechanical at all. He's a little bit a better athlete, better mover, off the back foot. But still in front of you, he uses the ring. He's not a huge volume guy. He gets a little selective, too selective with his shots sometimes. He's also excellent footwork, good movement. He can make you miss. He can sit there. He can make you miss a little bit. But he doesn't really make you pay. He, he doesn't have great timing on his shots. He plays a lot of I go, you go, I go, you go, which I, it's not going to work. Like, so he can fight either way. He can fight coming on the front foot or going on the back foot. Neither one of them is really going to work in a way. He's really good at getting in and out on you, which is what he's going to have to do. But ultimately, in a way, his timing is so good and he's so accurate, he's going to get nailed. This is all just a matter of when. You know, like I said, there's good things about him. He's a good reach, good footwork, decent speed, decent athlete, pretty good power. He's a pretty good fighter. He's a very good fighter. He just happens to be fighting the best fighter in the sport. And it's just not going to be enough. He can make you miss and, and, and stuff, but he's not going to consistently make a miss. He's not going to win enough rounds to win a decision. I don't even think he can go the distance. He's not going to stop in a way because that would be way too dangerous to even try that because he's not that big a hitter. There's just really no blueprint to the victory here. Let's take a look at the odds for Inouye and Lewis Neary. Obviously, I've shown my hand. Inouye, minus 1,400. I don't love that. Um, I'm not going to touch that. He's going to win. But what I do like is Inouye, minus 500. It's not bad. It's not a bad bet, minus 500. I actually like the uh, over 6.5, too. I think we probably go over 6.5. But I'm not gonna put up that in this bet. We're just gonna take in a way by KO, TKO, one times bet, minus five hundred. This is a beautiful bet to add to a parlay. There's a lot that you can do with this. It's almost look, in a way knocks out everyone. Lewis Neary's been stopped by Brand uh Brent uh, Brandon <coughs> by Brandon Figueroa. In a way, it's 26 and 0, 23 knockouts. It's almost certain the last time he went the distance was Donaire back in 2019. And besides that, I don't even remember. It must have David Carmona back in 2016. So the last two times he's been the distance was 2016 and 2019. It's going to be a stoppage. Neary is getting stopped. So put the money on that. Take uh, Lewis Neary. Uh, to be stopped, take in away by stoppage minus five hundred hundred dollar bet makes you twenty bucks. It's, it's a good little parlay. It's, it's a nice little bet to add to whatever you got working for you. Take it in, lock in the profit. Let's make some money. Let's bring down the house. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing bookie on all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also below there on the banner. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. Uh, this lock is this week's lock is great. It's strong. We make money every single week. We show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on this sport of boxing. Uh, so join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. The link is in the description. It's also in that little banner below. It is May third, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.